Here we are live at Chase Field. It is uh, 92-3 night at the ballpark, or as we call it here, Gatos Appreciation Gatos Night. Gatos Appreciation Night. Uh, yeah, uh, on September 23rd, 923 day. It is 92-3 hey, day. I'm not the, the one that, that said that. Hall no, is the one no, that said I it. I did. He's man. the boss here, man. Well, he said it's Gatos Appreciation Night. It is yeah. indeed Gatos Appreciation. I have t shirt to show it. This <laughs> is fantastic and the greatest day of my life. <laughs> Uh, jo- joining us <laughs> right now, he is Derek Hall, the president and CEO of the D-backs. Thank you so much for making time for us before the game. Oh, it's great to be here with you guys. I'm glad you're here. This is not a bad little perch to be looking down at our stadium here. No. And an important time. we got six games left, and yep. hopefully we're closing it out back in the postseason for you. Yeah. I, I, uh, I, I sent this picture that we're looking at. We're in left field right near the fair pole. We're watching everything. And uh, I sent this picture to everybody I know saying, this is my office today. That's beautiful. You get this every day. Yeah, I do. That is, it, uh, that's awesome. I'm lucky, especially if you love baseball like like we all do. And you know you do because Gatos calls it the fair pole, right? Which I, I love. That's fantastic. Uh-huh. Nice going. It is a beautiful spot to be. Yeah. All right. So let's get down to business. <laughs> so much for beauty. Yeah. So Maricopa <laughs> County, uh, the Arizona Diamondbacks. You know, you said last week that uh, things have hit hit a stall. Things have soured a bit. Uh, you got two years left on on the lease. You guys are the tenant here. We're looking around. Okay, this place has been around for a long time. Fourth old, oldest ballpark, I think, uh, baseball wise in the nation. Um, why have talks broken down, and, and why do you think that, you know, this relationship that you guys have with the Maricopa County Board, and why do you think it's it's soured? Yeah, I, I just think it's a it's a tough situation, really, for both, not just for us, but for them, too. I mean, I'm not sure they want to be in the business of owning a stadium. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they, they don't have an ability or a capability to invest a lot of money in the stadium. They can't just go out and raise sales taxes to be here. Um, you know, and I, I think we are, we are trying to get creative, and we're going to renovate this place. We've identified about four to five hundred million dollars worth of need and most of that you wouldn't even see it's a uh, it's under the hood it's it's behind you know the the it's not fan facing it's things like concrete and it's mm. things like the the air conditioning and leaks that we have and you guys have referred to it in the past and and i think most fans are aware and people are aware but what we have to do is make sure we have the best fan experience possible for anybody coming here and that it's safe and that it's clean and that it's state-of-the-art and this this ballpark has has really become old and antiquated now that it's uh, 26 years old doesn't mean we can't make it better mm. and that's our our preferences to be here sure. so but you think hope, it's safe right it's a safe place it, it, it is safe yeah okay it, yeah it is the safe. roof they can't open the roof unless everybody's out of the building right yeah you why know, did we, they, what, what is that well, well why we, is that? we had an inspector come here and they they were a little concerned what's in some right it's in writing you don't do it so <laughs> okay we, yeah we we have to keep it closed or open when right. fans are here um which which you know we're going to fix it here in the office there are major things that we've done that we continue to invest in if you look at our new lights our new sports lights and you look at of course the field we have a new sound system we're going to look at ways of improving the the hvac system here in the off season along with the roof those are those are must do's Mm -hmm. so we're going to continue to invest and maintain this ballpark but to go forward like you you said that we are done get us in in two years or three years bruce said it we we now at the end of 27 we're going to have to have a new lease and a new partnership and we've always said it probably needs to be a public private partnership Mm -hmm. so it's up to me to continue to have conversations with the city and the state and figure out if they can be partners in this too and that there's ways to get creative one thing we'd like to do is is go out and and see if there's a way for us to recapture some of the sales tax not for us not for the team not for the organization but to go right back into the ballpark and to help help uh, maricopa county with their asset we're talking to derek hall he's president ceo here of the d-backs and and help me understand something as a neophyte who yep. does not read legal documents yes, okay i'm uh, with you without a lawyer present um it's safe to say that you have a tenant landlord agreement is that is that a fair way to put it yeah we do i mean it 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 is owned by the the county however we also have the maintenance and operating rights right now so it is up to us now we did that so that you know we could bridge the gap with so many needs we had if we could book the building and we can book the concerts and non-baseball events, take that revenue and put it back into the building, which we've been able to do for these fixes, mm-hmm. these important upgrades that we need. But it was more of a band-aid to try and get us through the end of the lease, never with the intention of having that same arrangement necessarily beyond 27. Mm-hmm. Well, because because I guess we look at it, you know, in the conversation that Gatos and I had, I said, if you were renting a house from somebody. Right. And you spill wine on the carpet. You're responsible for cleaning the carpet. That's your job, right? It's happened before. Right. Mm-hmm. But if you know if the roof starts leaking, you call the landlord and say the roof leaks. I'm not fixing your roof. Is, is, that, is that too simplistic? Is that, yeah, that's how we see help it. Help us understand that 
it, from it, that stupid analogy. No, no, it's not <laughs> stupid. And again, it, it, there's a little bit of gray area there too, right? It's, it's uh, you guys have brought up the the analogy in the past. Okay, what is maintenance? If mm-hmm. you have to completely overhaul the HVAC system, which is a, a very antiquated system too, it's just mm-hmm. cold, cold chill cold system. Cold water, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's really air conditioning many many, if not most of the buildings downtown. If that needs to be replaced, whose is that, right? And what is maintenance? Is maintenance fixing it or trying to make make sure that it's cool? And, and granted. We had when we had complaints this year. It was a 115 degree day. We had a five o'clock game against the Phillies. We had a giveaway of a replica ring. You had 50,000 fans, everybody to wait, waiting to get in here. You're opening up every door. All the heat's coming. It's going to be hot. Yeah. Um, but but we can still do you know a better job in improving it. We're and we're doing that. We're tinkering. We're figuring out ways, and it's feeling much better. But I, that's the confusion. And, and and looking now that like you have two or three years left here, are you going to pour hundreds of millions of dollars in, not knowing if you're going to be here, right? Because we've kicked the tires. That's do fair. we build a new stadium in Maricopa County somewhere? Well, this has been our preference. So we want to find a solution here first and foremost sure uh we we're joined uh, out at uh, chase field Derek calls joining us the uh d-backs president and ceo let's let's just go down that road just to have some fun okay new building <laughs> yeah uh what do you want it to look like well, what's the one thing that you needed let's let's say great, a couple great of years, question new building what what's the one thing you'd like to have yeah if you could start from scratch yeah, or yeah. if you go around and you look at some of the newer ballparks and they are phenomenal the capacity alone you know we're at about 50,000 we're way too large you probably want to be somewhere around 36 to 38,000 that's one thing uh, we're always going to want to have some sort of a roof here because it is so hot we want to make sure it's retractable you got beautiful months in April and May and you get into June a little bit and then you hope in September you can um, but you know aside from that Today, it's it's premium areas, right? And it's also a lot of standing room areas because fans engage differently. They take mm-hmm. in entertainment differently. Some want to come and stand. They want to be at a bar. They oh. don't necessarily want to have 50,000 fixed seats like you, you used to see in the old ballparks. In addition to that, you want to be 365 year, uh, days a year of activation. You want to have mixed use. You want to have a hotel. You want to have retail. You want to have restaurants. So I think you'll see that now where it's not just about the ball games, And, and now you're having more and more uh, non-baseball events as well. It's all it all works together. Can I? It's interesting. You said something, and I want to. I want to follow up on that. How has the baseball fan? You can say D-backs fan specifically, but how's the baseball fan changed over your time? Because you're saying they they have different expectations when they walk through the door. How how do you see that change? Yeah, great question. And, and they have Bruce because now fans come in here and they want to use their handheld device. They want to use their iPad. They want technology. We've now got a screen that goes from foul pole to foul pole because <laughs> people really don't pay attention like they used to. No. Uh, and yeah, and line drives and foul balls, you got to watch out. But also just the way you, you know, you order food now. You can order from your seats and they'll let you know when it's ready on your on your phone and you'll go up and pick it up, making sure that we do in, involve the technology and social media, uh, which has never been a part of it. So fans are not only watching the game, but they're trying to stay engaged elsewhere with each other. The beauty of baseball, and one thing that will never change, is that it is the one sport where you can sit, you can talk between pitches, you can talk between innings, mm-hmm. you can talk to your family and friends, and you can hand it down from generation to generation. That will never change. But I think the things that we offer to keep people's attention of all ages is, is now what you're competing with. It's having multiple sources of entertainment. It's having multiple sources of technology. We have to make sure it's here and that we have the latest and greatest. Here, here. Uh, Derek Hall, d president and CEO. I've got a way to improve the team. All right. Okay. Let's, yeah, been thinking about well, wait, this. the team's doing pretty no, well, though, Gatos. You can, listen, okay. you can always get better. Yeah, oh, that's, that's, you, can <laughs> always, right. you can always get better. We didn't win the World Series, right? We I just was, went there. I was rooting for All you. Right. Thank you. Um, so so what about, uh, what about you know, the, the roof? Uh, open the roof. It's going to be 110 all week. Yeah. You know, sweat the other team out. We're, we're <laughs> used to this here. Well, the, the players, the player, the Diamondbacks players, they've, they've adjusted to the Arizona a, heat. Let's open that sucker up. It should be an advantage, up. right? Let's open it up. That is such a great point, and I'll say this. See, no, I told you, Bruce. I, I'm with you. In, in fact, I was walking the stadium one day a few years back, and we had opened the stadium. The roof was up, right? And, and it was batting practice. Gates were open. Let the sun in. And we had a haboob, right? So the, oh. wind, the wind is swirling. There's yeah. dust everywhere. There's hot dog wrappers up in the air. And this one guy walks up to me. He goes, hey, Mr. Hall. I said, yes, sir. He said, don't you think you should shut the roof? And I said, well, in Pittsburgh right now, they're in batting practice. It's probably hot yeah. and humid, or it's yeah. raining in St. Louis. They're there. He said, yeah. But if they had a roof in St. Louis, and they were smart enough, don't you think they'd close it? <laughs> <laughs> good point. Well, that Sorry, is a, it. Is a good point. And you guys did get rained out. We did. 
that, yeah, that's, that's come on. That yeah. was ridiculous, that's right? Far, is that far from embarrassing? You and guys now, don't have a tarp because it's a, no. you're inside. Why would you invest you in a tarp for right. the roof? And that was one of those you know sneak attacks of our final <laughs> exhibition game. The <laughs> forecast was perfect, right? right? And we have the roof open. You got to be kidding me! Now right. the players are about to go to opening day a day or two later. So did they really want to play that final exhibition game? The managers got together, both said, "Let's bang it." And it right, was over. Right, yeah. right. Because I don't hilarious. think I don't think anyone has ever been <laughs> rained out when you have a dome. That's a first. That's got to be. You a know first. what? You could use that in your negotiations for crying out loud. Oh, so it's come you don't up. think I have? Oh, I <laughs> I bet you have. It's come up. <laughs> oh, I bet <laughs> you have. That. Yeah. Like, listen, we got rained out and we got a roof and it doesn't work all the way. We can't we can't close it when there's and, a single person in here. And you know what they say? User error, right? Oh, yeah. boy, oh, boy, it wouldn't have happened boy. if we were running the place. Oh, mm. it's never ending, yeah. isn't it? Well, right. thanks for stopping by on uh, on you know ninety two three day. We're happy to be here. We're Gatos looking at the big Gatos Gatos appreciation day. day. Love uh, it. And you know, let us let us know how these negotiations I, go because here's the bottom line: nobody wants you guys to. Leave. I appreciate that. Nobody and we, wants and we you. Have, we we have have no, no plans are going. So right. I appreciate you guys, and I will come back on. And I, I, cool. I love being on with you. Thanks for watching Outspoken with Bruce and Gatos. Tap to watch more from KTAR News and click the button in the middle to subscribe.